the owners when I got, got to Jacksonville, but they've been so supportive the entire time and uh, in, of, of going through this Hall of Fame profit process. So thankful to the Weavers, uh, Wayne Doris, for all their support when I was a player, um, all the coaches that I you know, played for, you know, you know, Tom Coughlin, Mike Mazur, my offensive line coach, all the teammates that were part of, you know, helping me be successful. Um, football is the ultimate team sport. And so it's, I always get a little bit uncomfortable in these individual awards and recognition because I, I know for a fact that I would not be sitting on this call with you, you talking about the Pro Football Hall of Fame if it wasn't for the great teammates I had and it wasn't for the great coaches um, all the way back from high school at USC, um, I was really fortunate to have amazing people in my life to help uh, develop me as a, as a man um, and as a football player. So um, I, I really view of getting inducted into the Pro Football Fame, yes, it's about me and it's a huge honor for me, but I feel like all of us, all the people that have been a part of my life and, and helped me get here um, are going into the Hall of Fame together. So I uh, appreciate it. And, all, and then specifically to the media, the Jacksonville media, who's uh, you know, has changed in and out a little bit since I got there in 95. Some of the same faces are there. Um, I, I just, I'm so thankful for you, for you guys and gals, what you, you know, covering my career uh, have always been very fair to me. Um, have been real professional and have been great to work with. So I appreciate all your support through the years and, and especially during this Hall of Fame, uh, the whole process. A number of you have been vocal um, and have been big supporters of mine. I don't take that for granted. Um, and I appreciate it, and I appreciate the relationships um, that I've been able to develop with y'all. So, with that, uh, happy to take any questions. But it's a big, big. It was a big day um, for the Baselli family. Big day for me. Um, we did celebrate last night uh, in accordance to the big uh, moment, and uh, it's uh, pretty exciting stuff. So, with that, any questions? Thanks, Tony. We're going to go ahead and get started with Gene Burnett and then Mike Duraco. Uh, hey, Tony. Uh, all right, uh, you're going to take some questions from that media. He was just uh, talking about Gene up first out of the Florida Times Union. And uh, if you want to uh, hear the rest of it. Back the last 20 years of your life, when you think right, back. Being to told, let's hang with it. Ending to your career, which, you know, obviously you can't, that's kind of, that's out of your control. When you think about the health scare that you went through a couple of years ago, and now you're in this moment of just amazing celebration with your family and friends. So when you when you think about it in the context that I brought up, how does it make you feel? Yeah, Gene, it's uh, it's humbling. Um, you know, life is a funny way of putting everything in perspective, and I just believe where things happen at the right time. And and you you mentioned a number of things that I've you know we've been through as a family. I've been through. Um, you know, if I think back all the way to the beginning of my career and, and the journey to get here, a lot of bumps a lot of obstacles, a lot of the times you're like, whoo, maybe I'm out for the count. Um, but I, I don't, I'm not sure, you know, people always say, would you change anything? What would you do differently? I mean, heck, the only thing I change is to be able to play more football, nothing else. There's nothing else I would change. Um, you know, I actually, I'd add one more thing. My dad being there uh, for this process would be great too. Um, but those are things that weren't meant to be. And uh, that's okay. And I think, you know, our ups and downs and, and all the obstacles we face as, as people make us who we are. And I, I think all the things, the good, the bad, the ugly, have shaped who I am. And uh, uh, it, would hard, it would be hard for me to have any regrets or want to change anything. Quick follow-up. Uh, you mentioned last night that your wife did a good job of lying. Uh, yes. How about yourself? You had, to, you had to do a pretty good job of keeping a secret. I mean, you yeah. you, have you have conversations with people on daily basis. I mean, I'm sure everybody's bringing up, hey, you know, and so I'm yeah. just, just wondering how hard that was. That was hard, Gene. Uh, you know, I, I'm not a good liar. Uh, my wife obviously is because she um, lied to me with a straight face and, and played that she should get an, uh, an Oscar uh, for her performance. Um, and, but yeah, it was, it was hard not telling people because, you know, I have so many great people in my life and I have so many, the fans are great in Jacksonville and I'd get notes and tweets, texts and everything else saying, Hey, we're praying for you. And I wanted, I wanted to tell everyone, well, pray for something more important because it's already done. I'm in. <laughs> Save your prayers. For, you know, Full press conference uh, will be on our website as he continues um, his conversation. Just, reporters, that I is you know, Tony Baselli.
Now in Canton, officially going to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. So fitting, him being from Los Angeles, playing at Southern Cal, uh, that it all happened right there. His um, wife's family still right there in L.A.